My name is Rocco Antonio DiPopolo, and this is East Van Incorporated. I want to make sure you don't fuck around. Is this a joke? No, it's not a fucking joke. I'm serious. Get your bag. Get the fuck out of here. Go stand over there. Understand me? No, See you later. See you later. Keep going. Get the fuck out of here. I might be so disrespectful that I don't go. Deserve an go. For a camera crew. I'm gonna pull my two by four out of my fucking Hummer in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still yeah. five breathing dragons. Uh -huh. This stop sign coming up is the entrance. I call it to my fucking old hood. First Avenue in Rupert, Cassiar. So there was a time that me and my brother, I have a twin brother, his name is Deliano. We used to cruise out around a lot at nighttime and I don't know, take care of stuff. We're pulling up to a gas station one time and I'm laying in the, in the passenger seat. He's gassing up, I'm looking across the street at the 7-Eleven. At the like, fuck, there's this guy that owes me some money. I had a pair of leg gloves between the seats, so I grabbed the leg gloves and I fucking just walked out the door. But I goes, where are you going? I go, I'll be right fucking back. Putting on one glove, looking inside the store, putting on the other glove, opening the door, walking inside, and I see the guy that owes me money. And I didn't even give him a fucking chance to talk, and I just fucking gave him the hell maze. I was a fucking bad person back then, and <laughs> I just did what I had to do to survive. So oh, I'm gonna fucking rip some fucking assholes today, man. It's Wednesday, man. I did three push-ups, a sit-up today, went to the washroom, dropped the kids off at the pool. I'm feeling good. Red light, motherfucker! Holy fuck, if that was me, 10 fucking cops would be on my fucking ass. Let's go back to the gym. Let's go back to the gym and do some maintenance. All right, bro. All right, I love you, man. Bye. Hey, Tony. 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 I fucking kill you, Tony. You ever see that show? No, I didn't. You gotta see that show. Okay, so let's do our maintenance. We did the showers yesterday. We bleached the showers. We checked the garbage cans in the parking. We got Tuesday. Come on, Tony, let's go look around and scream at some light bulbs. Okay? Let's go scream at some light bulbs, Tony. Tony! Hey, Tony! Hey, Tony. You love my voices, don't you, buddy? Hey, Tony, does it bug you how fucking picky I am? It does, doesn't it? I want everything so fucking perfect. Hey, Tony, hold this. Thank you. Because, you know, you wouldn't have done this, right? Hey, right, Tony? It. I did it last downstairs on Tuesday. Because you, you don't look up. You're always looking at broad tits. Tony! Tony! Let's go downstairs. Let's go look at some chicks on treadmills, hey Tony? Look for some excuses of looking at anything else. Hey, hey Rambo. Rose. I saved you a bike. For the next person that's coming in. <laughs> How's school, Rose? Awesome. Hi, everybody. Hello. When I was away on my medical leave, I was in the hospital for a couple of weeks and um, I shouldn't have been surprised, but I was a little bit surprised to receive a text the very next day uh, from Rocco asking how I'm feeling, what can he do for me. And then every other day after that, I received a text. And it really, really um, warmed my heart knowing that someone like Rocco, who is so well connected with so many different people, facets in his life, that he actually would take the time to care about me. Rehabilitation's coming along to good? Yes, it is. We've done 14 sessions. Yeah. So, you see a difference? Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah definitely in my sight. Sure. It takes somebody to take time out of their own lives to make themselves feel better. If they yeah. don't make the move, then no one's going to help you, right? Exactly. I mean, to have someone help you makes it a whole lot easier. Yeah, and it keeps me motivated, right? It's always a pleasure to see you. You too. I love you. Love you too. Bye, see you. I started working out at CORE maybe five, five and a half years ago. Uh, my mom started working out here, so that's when I first met Rocco. I didn't really know what to expect, but I see this tattooed covered guy with um, colorful language, to say the least. Why don't you guys go in the washroom and lick each other? Fucking pay the fucking thing. Have yourself a wonderful day. Yeah, you do. Fucking cunt. But he was super nice, he was so friendly. Coming in, he showed me around. He was even giving me training tips on the first day I was here. You gotta be careful that the right hand comes around. So you want to block his right hand, which is going to be your left guard. He's got to throw 
his right, he can't throw it when you're coming at him, right? Matt, you doing good? Hi, buddy. Napoli, love that shirt, buddy. Napoli. A lot of other places I've been to, you go in and you're not welcomed as warmly. Come on in, have a great workout. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Bye. laughs> Rock, how's it going, buddy? Good to see you. How's your day? Hectful, always hectful. I've known Rocco probably, I don't know, over 25 years since, uh, you know, since I was a kid in his fan. You know, troublemaker that he was, still is, I guess. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> so they say. I think it's more like happy Rocco, happy world. <laughs> going back this way? It's funny seeing how he acts and a lot of the things that he says. It's funny, it's, to me it's comedic. Why you just push the button for it, Patrick, you lazy bastard? Come on, man, take care of the clients. We're here about the clients, Patrick. No clients, no business, no business, no money, no money, no paycheck. All right, so Patrick, you done all the, the yeah. cash out? Okay, do your thing and get the fuck out of here. It can almost be abrasive at times, or I could see how people could take it personally if they don't necessarily have a tough skin. Nikki. Hi. What are you doing? I am just Instagramming. What are you Instagramming? I'm looking for something. Like what? Merchandise. You put barbershop up there? Yep. You put uh, piercing up there? Piercing's not in today. Well, I mean, it, yeah, I'm gonna do laser. Yeah. Laser well, the, the the piercing lady ain't there, but the laser broad is. I thought we had the same fucking broad doing the same fucking job. No, Can you turn your head to the left right now? I want to talk to the dark side of you. Goodness. You always have me going on, don't you? You you love you love fucking stressing me out, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Anyways, Nikki, yes. you need to really do me a favor, and when I tell you guys to do something, you guys need to finish what you're doing. You promise? Yes, I'll do it right now. So, and if I, you know, what are you gonna do right now? I'll You're gonna that. get fucking Jordan to do it so she understands what she didn't fucking do. If you do her job, you her, she does your job. You guys are both two fucking retards walking around like bubbleheads. Beast mode. Generally speaking, mentally I'm freaky. Open up my mouth and tenderly are speaking. So this is my home. I got an office back here, a sauna, a little quiet sitting area. The kids love this area. In the summertime, all my nieces and nephews come down and hang out, make noise. And it's a beautiful thing to see the family together. And then, of course, down this way, a play area for the kids. The corner was my dog kennel. This car here, I call my slut because she acts like one. This car here is my 66 Chevy 2. This one here is my Nova. Back in 91, I had a Super Sport, my first muscle car, real muscle car. And uh, I rode it off in a head-on collision. I woke up three days later to my great father, my angel. My old man, I lost him 2009 very sudden. I received a phone call and I jumped out of bed Raced to my mom's aid. The fucking worst thing I ever seen in my life. My father was revived by the fibrillator. You know, the, the ambulance did a great job. He did come alive. He was on a machine for about five days. And we made a decision that we were gonna unplug the life machine to see if he could survive because all the tests we did proved that he was not good. We don't know how long he was passed away for in the garage. So it killed me that my dad is gone, he's my foundation, he's the man I looked up to. You know, separated the family a little bit, started realizing which way we want to go in life. So this here is a, a memorial piece for my son, Damiano, Americo de Popolo. In November, we were um, expecting twins. I received a phone call from my wife that we couldn't hear our second heartbeat. And when I got to the hospital, I, f I found out that uh, one of my, my children passed away. It, it broke my heart. Uh, 2009, I lost my dad. And uh, November the 4th, 2010, I lost my uh, son. But uh, Rocco was born the next day, I delivered him. And then I delivered Damiano. The, the doctor asked me if I wanted to, and I did want to deliver him. Uh, I invited my whole family to the hospital. It's like he had his heart ripped right out of his being. And um, I mean, for me, kind of that was a turning point for Rocco because I thought, wow, he's, 
he is a hard ass and he can be intimidating to some and but he's he's so caring he's so genuine he's his family is his everything absolutely everything but I figured that my son Rocco I call him the kid with two souls and uh, Damiano's always in my heart I say goodnight to him every night and I know he's with my dad I love him But when are you going to retire? You can't run, but you can't hide. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice to Tony see you. Tony Uliano. It's always nice to see you. Yeah, you always Tony. This is an old, old neighbor. He hasn't moved. He stayed here. Uh, His son bought my Chevy, too. I bought it you back. You missed uh, those spaghetti with bones. Yeah. My, my wife, manja, 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 roca, Daniano, manja, manja. <laughs> Tony, it's good to see you. I'll see you on the drive. Watch yourself. Thank you. <laughs> and destroy before you go away. Destroy everything. Everything. Baramo tutto e bruciamo tutto. Brucia tutto. Non bruciare. Bye, Tony. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> okay, walk up to the walk up uh, the strip the hill. I'm at the parking lot. <laughs> She's the best looking there. <laughs> that big smile on her. She looks exactly like my fucking sister. Yeah, how was school? Good. Good? Yeah. They're good? Any, bull any bullies in school? No. Yeah? Well, it's not against you, you're just fucking headbutt them. Let's go to my mom's house. Fish clenched so tight, I got white knuckles. I've been killing it. See, water, the name of that. I want to buy some oil. I say, no, you have to buy cheap, you don't get this. I say, shut up. That was yesterday? Yeah, to Jeff. To Jeff. Oh, Jeff, what did you, what did you buy? Some oil. Ma, you remember that time? No. When I was going to school, yeah, and you found my cigarette pack, and then Dad fucking when I, your mother gets home, I'm gonna show her. I'm like, oh fuck! All day through all school, I was fucking stressing out. I get home, we sit at the table. You pulled out the joints out of the fucking cigarette pack. You open it up, you start lighting it, you start smoking it. No, no, this is not marijuana. I'm like, so you guys, me and my mother always sit on that step over there. We always talk shit. I smoke a joint and she smokes a cigarette, but I won't smoke weed today. Because I don't want anybody thinking my mom's a pot smoker. She's fucked up as it is. Yeah. You can't love it. Run. You like my new Dupont? I love it. I love how you match the, um, the red. Because you got red in the sign, red in the cabinet. It goes with the tiles that I laid here. No, Rocco, you didn't lay this. Dad did, and you didn't build this place. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Here we yeah. go. Here we go. Rock, rock, rock. 19, you had rock. 1990. Three? Two. Look at the sign outside, Rock. And yeah, you, you changed it. No. Nina, I dug the fucking hole from here all the way there. No, Rock, you didn't. Dad this just place. pointed the finger. This was all done by me. Rock, you did nothing here. Oh, you, here we go. Rock. This is my establishment. This is my first business, Lena. No, it's, it's still not. here. I'm happy that you're running my first no, business. Rocco, you're doing a great you know, job no, doing it. It's not. You got me fired <laughs> up, eh? No. This place is mine. You had white walls, no, no windows, no mirrors. You had no people. You had a bunch my of back room. My back room made money. No, Rocco. You put the wall. No, no, sorry. I love you. People do not like you. They like me. They, they like this place. They don't like me. They love me. Okay. In okay. your little imaginary world. That's it's my world. No. Me, myself, and my right hand. It's not what you have done. It's what you're doing now. It's not where you have been. It's where you're going now. Not Look at this, man. Yeah, really, with our wives, we don't even have to cook no more. Everything's ready to go. My wife cooks. <laughs> Ciao. Hey, Johnny, stick that coffee up your culo, eh? On that tab that never gets paid. I love you, John. <laughs> Who but switched the joints when that's the second time? Ask old. Ma, your mama now, she's old. Before, that's different. <laughs> I can't remember from yesterday. Now you have to be remembered. I, I think it was Four you. years ago. <laughs> I think it was you taking care of me again. I love you, Mom. Oh, well, my dear, what are you going to do? That's the life. Can but now, the marijuana is uh, legal. <laughs> Everybody can smoke. <laughs> The government, the papu, papu. They always thought your tomato plants were marijuana. Wow. Well, because they grow so good. It should be because in the middle, nobody's here. <laughs> Ma, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to work. Okay, bye kids. <laughs> I don't say nothing, okay? If somebody wants to arrest me, don't pick them up my address. This way nobody knows where I live. <laughs> I love you, Mom. Okay? And you pay Sunny see me in the TV saying she cook a head for sure. <laughs> Who runs this place better, me or Rocco? Well, t 20. Thank you. Yeah, okay, 23 years ago, I mean, you know, I was young, stoned, and. Uh, Stupid. 
You're still stupid. Thank you. Okay. But you know, I, anyways, I want to. I just want to say that I did open this place up. This is a family now. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. It's a family bar. Yeah, family. yeah. It's a good thing I'm on the other side of First Avenue because all the crazy people hang on this side. Linda, thank you. No, tell him because he no, doesn't it's believe. True. Anyways, <laughs> ladies, I opened this place up 23 years ago. <laughs> okay. Imagination. You know what, Linda? All right. His imagination. Go to the city and see who did the permits. Rocco DePopolo. Okay, you know what? Out. I gotta go. Goodbye. Love you. Bye. Okay. See you guys later. Bye. 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 Yo, I'm going pre-fontaine on you hoes, man. Dope like putting cocaine up your nose, yeah. Those that oppose get slain, I suppose, yeah. Man, child spit as it rain on you hoes. Gladiator on a battle break. You better off friends. It's East Fan Incorporated, and it goes back to uh, years ago before Rocco opened the tattoo shop. Uh, so it's not East Fan INK, it's East Fan INC, and it's about merchandise, it's about the East Fan Cross, it's about tattooing, it's about piercing, it's laser tattoo removal, it's about barbering, it's about service, it's about being part of the community, being part of the East Van community, bringing East Van to the world in all its glory, which can be sometimes frightening for a lot of people. Phil, we're ordering sushi. Sushi, you want sushi? What are you looking at? <laughs> you want to stop my nose? Yeah. What do you find so funny? Those big ass hoops that are in your head. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys like, oh, a guy can wear earrings? He's not hygienic. He's not a tattoo artist. He's a collector. He's a lover of tattoos. Uh, he's a businessman, and he's the driving force behind East Van Inc. And Rocco drives his business like he drives that damn Hummer. In other words, yeah, no, just go ahead. They'll get out of the way. <laughs> Who's that? Who's those? What do you mean? They're mine. They're mine. That's not hygienic. They're mine. All right. What, you want to see the fucking stockings and the shoes that go come with it? I got a little kinky last night. You guys mind? So Rick, how's your shit in life? Are you shitting soft? Are you shitting water? Like, I want antibiotics right now. Everything's hey, regular. Rick. feels good. Yeah. So, you know, I caught a cold. I've been on antibiotics for about three and a half weeks. Okay. So I was telling everybody, you know, they've been to Las Vegas and they've seen the Bellagio Water Show. I can do a better show out of my ass to ACDC. Badass. Sweet. Right? You want to see it? No. Does anybody no, here want to see it? No. No more naked pictures of people on our Instagram. When we're not here. This is what I find really funny. The barber is in, come get your hair did. It's a saying. A new saying? Like, get your hair did. Did? That's what the girls say. Get your hair did. Turn that way for a second. I don't want to talk to the brunette side. Turn that way for a second. It's a saying. Did. That's what all the cool kids are saying nowadays. Are Rocco, there's nobody else like Rocco. Ever. And never will be again. <laughs> And Rocco is a man with a vision, and uh, he is, yeah, super interesting guy. He's a good guy to work for. Legally, you're allowed two weeks vacation. Yeah. Besides that, I can tell you, go fuck yourself. Well, this okay? is a new year. So I'm gonna tell you right now, when's your birthday? March. So you'll get your fucking vacation four months from now. What? Yeah, but you already said yes. No, I didn't. You did. Huh? No, when did I say this? Uh, you were downstairs with Rick. You and Rick both said no, yes. No, no, I think you, Mr. I said, fuck you. <laughs> I adore Rocco. He's loud and he's boisterous and he just kind of like brings the room to life. He gets everybody kind of rowdy and makes the day more exciting. Ricky, my left nut, okay, it doesn't work anymore. But if you slap around the right one, okay, it might spit something out at you. Hey, you girls gotta understand something. I don't know who the fuck let women in tattoo shops. We took you out of the kitchen. I'm gonna make sure you always go back to the kitchen. Okay? I love the kitchen. I love the kitchen too. There's never a dull moment. And I think the thing I like the most about this place is they really make you feel like you're a part of a family. Subasa! Hamase! Subasa, what happened to that client today? <laughs> I got the, the girl bringing the pictures. Who is that? Yes. I got her bringing the other stuff back so you can mm -hmm. sign it. The okay. flash. Okay. So she don't get it. You know, it's Nikki's doing it, so it'll probably take a couple days. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, so you can sign all of them. What happened to your client today? Uh, super sick. She's super sick. sick. Super sick. <laughs> Not sick. Super sick. I love you, Subasa. You know that? <laughs> Tisha, we got Mr. Uh, DeVidio coming in for some laser removal. Yeah, he got drunk again and had his fucking girlfriend's name tattooed on his arm. 
Stupid, stupid, stupid. Kelly Clarkson! Started off as a, just a piercer, and then about a, six months ago, um, I told him that I wanted to do laser, and he uh, put me through school for that. Told him I was interested in it, and I told him to give me a year, and I'd have the money for it. And uh, he told me to find a school that offered it, and within a couple weeks, I was enrolled and started school. Uh, he bought us a $120,000 laser machine. Been getting some really good results with that. Fuck me. Yeah, one more second, and I'll ice it for you. <laughs> <laughs> the baby's halfway out. Uh. It was an amazing opportunity he gave me because I'm a mom with two kids, and we don't have opportunities like that very often. Um, you know, kind of gave me a chance. Yeah, you go on, lay down. Smoke first. That good job. Okay, paper, Me scissors, do? rock. Subasa, pa whoever paper, scissors, rock. Whoever loses, okay, okay. ready? Pa no, me and you, me <laughs> and you. Ready? Are you trying to get me in Paper, on scissors, this? dynamite. I blow you up, you're down. Oh, Come on, Subasa, we're all going to trust here. Put your arms. This is what we do in our spare time. Your turn, Rocco. Are you crazy? Ain't nobody Jordan, Jordan, yeah. can you get the manager, manager to do her job, please? <laughs> can she manage to do her job? Manager, give me one of your cards. All right. I want to look at these fucking stupid cards I made you. I want to ask you a simple question, okay? What does it say? <laughs> okay. There you go. Be blonde again. Right here. <laughs> okay, now what does that say underneath your name? Manager. Okay, now just in a simple sentence. Oh, here we go. What does the word manager mean? You manage people. Yeah, manage what? What people? What do you do here? The people downstairs. No, no. What do you do here as a manager of a building? What do you do here? What do you mean? So, but those four days. I'm gonna That's need an assistant manager in here. I'm gonna jump out this fucking window. <laughs> Get out of the way. I'm gonna jump out this window. And I'm gonna fucking do it. it. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Ow! So uh, today I'm gonna be here okay, at East Van Inc. and I'm going to get the East Van Cross. The East Van Cross, which stands behind me, is uh, an insignia of, of respect. Some people don't understand the meaning of it. It's not a gang insignia. It's not anything to do with anything in the past. Nowadays, it's basically a recognition of a cool, a strong, a respected part of Vancouver. Now, the East Van Cross, I tell people, we have a lot of bootleggers out there. We have a lot of bitches that try to make these fucking crazy ass necklaces and say they're gonna give money to the homeless or to the pivotal society. They can suck my fucking left nut, but they're not giving fuck all to anybody. So what I tell people is you wanna buy bootleg stuff, you buy or you come to East Fan Inc. Tattoo and I give you the respect. I give you the meaning and the respect behind the East Fan Cross. So at the end of the day, all I gotta say to the city, do what you gotta do. The rest of you people are bootlegging, fuck off, I'm coming to get you. Oh God. One of your stalkers are here. Oh God. Who? So. Him? Oh God. Not you. Okay, yeah, because you have stalkers. <laughs> oh God, it's Nikki <laughs> again. What do you want me to tell her? I'll, I'll be up shortly. Or should I'll I be... tell her to? Uh, well, which one? Sh short hair. The, the crazy lady? Yeah. Tell her to fuck off. <laughs> Hold on, just in case she comes outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell my uh, my brother Rockwell that I'll be back later on because this is taking too fucking long. I'll see you guys later. Hi, Rocco. Have a good day. I'm Damiano. I'm Rocco's brother. His twin brother. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you, twin Pleasure brother. Pleasure to meet you. Okay. So anyways, what? see you guys later. Yeah. Bye. Have a good day. Crazy bitch. She got picked up, I got my dick sucked. She got tin fucked, she sucked my ball sack and licked my asshole. I came in her head and she called me an asshole. Then I called her a cab and gave her five bucks, said that's all that I have. I'm addicted to being a dickhead. Tell a girl anything just to get hit. I'm a fucking bitch, shut the fuck up. Uh, we all come from different walks of life. We are not just musicians, we are artists in any form. 
athletes of any form and we can just turn to one another, show each other support through anything that we have, life, good, bad, whatever, we're there for one another. It's basically a movement of positivity and the whole point of it is that people want to be a part of something and we wanted to create something that kids can be a part of without having the devil behind the curtain. Some people need to be a part of something and unfortunately they get drawn and romanticized by negative groups of people where it's like yes you can join our crew you're with us now but we want you to go sell drugs and we want you to go hurt somebody we want you to go and do this for us and then you have our loyalty with Battle Axe Warriors there's no negativity whatsoever and there's nothing expected of anybody we try to give people an, a different outlet than uh, drugs, alcohol, gang life. Like we try to inspire them with music and art and uh, help help kids get off the street and do things that are uh, positive with their lives. I run a little program where a bunch of friends of mine from the past that I still love and respect the streets and I help the streets out all the time. They call me up, I go meet them somewhere, and they want to remove a few pieces from their past, and that's what I do. You get out of what Battle Axe Warriors, what you put into it, or you can just be a member and enjoy being a part of the family. And make it cool to be nice to people. Make it cool to be positive, instead of being cool to be negative or being cool to be an asshole. So these are the kind of things that we're working on, continuing to progress while preserving the culture that we love. And underground hip hop just be basically means that you think for yourself. You make music from within. You're not a sheep, you're a wolf. You don't follow what trends are. You just make real art for real people. And that's basically the concept of underground hip hop. Yeah, it's nice, uh, it's nice to know a guy like Rocco, because Rocco's a guy that you can trust, and, uh, you know, he goes out of his way for us when, uh, you know, when uh, we get a few of us together and we either need some work done or we need some work removed. It was such a humbling experience knowing that this hard ass who walks around like he's all that has the biggest heart. I said, make some noise for brother Rocco! People come to us and learn from me the business, um, how to interact with clients. Yeah. I made my share of bad mistakes and felt so much pain. Left a broken heart and left the people that I love drained. I've been to hell and back. You can tell them that, but now I'm back. How you doing? How are you? Keeping the neighborhood safety? Great. You getting a documentary about you? About you and us at East Van. <laughs> Boyfriend, Nikki. Um, he's not my boyfriend. You're such a slut. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.